Samsung made a huge announcement. Um, uh, let's see, this was in March, uh, March 10th of uh, 2020 from their press room. And the announcement is Samsung presents groundbreaking all solid state battery technology. So they're saying that they have um, a fully functioning solid state battery that they feel with a little more work will be able to not only compete with but exceed the current standards of uh, the lithium ion battery that we have now. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, but Tony, how did they fix the dendrite problem? Because as we know, one of the biggest issues with batteries and especially solid state batteries are the dendrites. So what happens is, you know, as, as hold on, I gotta, I, I gotta see myself. So, so what we know is we have two anodes, right? And so the, the lithium ion, they come over here and then they, they retract when you charge the battery and then they come back and they go. The problem is these dendrites start growing on the anode side. And so they don't quite make as good a connection and the battery deteriorates. Thank you for, see, um, so what they decided, or I don't know, decided what they what they found was they used a silver carbon composite layer on the anode, and this kept the dendrites at bay. But the the, the very thin coating of this uh, silver carbon was enough to keep the dendrites at bay. That they say that their battery has a life cycle of a thousand charges which I did look it up, and lithium-ion batteries are rated between 600 and 1200, depending on the application. So this is in the higher end of the current lithium-ion battery life cycle. And they say that um, if they were to put this battery into an EV, it would get up to 800 kilometers on a single charge, which, uh, or is that like 650 miles? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Um, and so they're they're saying now this isn't released. This is still a, a prototype, but they're confident enough that they've made the announcement and they're telling people about it. They're saying that the um, they can get the same density, energy density of lithium ion battery in approximately half of the size, which means we could have lighter cars. Um, and we, as we know with electric vehicles, um, you know, the weight is a huge issue. Um, or we could have the same size battery with double the range. So this could be a huge um, stepping off point um, in the advancement of, um, of batteries, not only for small things like cellular phones that last for three, four days at a time, but electric vehicles that can travel 650, 700, 800 miles on a charge. As I've said many times before, this is all really cool, but until you can buy it in the showroom, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I, I know, but you know, and I and I believe that when when other when, when some companies make a statement and they're making a statement just to make news. But I want to believe that if Samsung is going out there and saying that they have something that they're not blowing smoke. You know, their reputation is on the line as far as what I'm saying. I'm sorry, Samsung, the company that made the exploding cell phone, the company that made the folding phone with the screen that didn't, didn't fold. fold. <laughs> right, but the battery worked. Yeah. Until it exploded. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exploded. the yeah. battery did work. And it was banned on aircraft. Yeah. Conver yeah. Conversion is 500 yeah. miles. Uh, 800 I, okay. kilometers is 500 miles. Okay, okay. Miles. So, so, okay. Well, I you know, I would love things. to see these in smaller personal vehicles, something like the smart car, but E, not with gas, because I was really disappointed that the smart cars were gas cars and not electrical, because we don't necessarily need to all be in like a four or five seater vehicle for short commutes. It would be perfectly fine, and especially since the new COVID reality is you're not supposed to be taking your whole damn family. It's not an outing to go to this grocery store anymore. You really want to go in, get your groceries, and come back out. And it would be kind of cool if we could see some new vehicles that took advantage of the technology to be small, light, with storage space, that for 
a single person to go get their things and come back and not have a full sized car to have to like deal a, with. a Fiat 500e. Yeah, kind of like yes. a Fiat, something along that lines, the, or the you know, maybe even concept. Yeah, is, is what we're talking about the neighborhood electric vehicle, the golf cart. I got I can find like um, some of my old pictures of uh, some of the the electrical vehicles I've run into at various sustainability shows that were either concept cars or sometimes hobbyists who had built their own and really come up with some very cool ideas that nothing I've really seen coming out of big manufacturers has has excited me as much as some of these these hobbyist cars. So, but yeah, that would be kind of cool to see what they come up if if this is good and real and true. I would love to see some more exciting designs coming out that are individual personalized transport. They had a lot more details and facts and figures and techniques than, uh, than, than most of these things we see come out. uh, Like, like you were saying that they're just trying to make flashy news. This, it it seems like it might be just a few years off or at least they think so. And the fact that they came out and said, this is silver carbon coating. I, you know, and of course, now you know that, you know, I'm sure, you know, LG and, you know, and Toyota and Tesla is like, wait a minute, what? Like, you know, so now they're, they're, you know, so whether Samsung is, um, brings it to market or it's somebody else, you know, hopefully the, um, the secret sauce is out. Mm-hmm.